N-400 interview. U.S. Naturalization. Simulation 2021 New Number 6. Officer Anne. Applicant Elise Petty. Number F-12. Miss Elise Petty. Hi, it's me. Good morning, Miss Petty. I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Good morning, officer. Please follow me. Sure. Please place your things next to your chair. Okay, thank you. Before we start the interview, I'll have to place you under oath. Okay. So, please remain standing and raise your right hand. Okay. Remain standing and raise right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Very good. You can lower your hand and take a seat now. Okay, thank you. How are you doing today? Everything's good. I'm just a little nervous. Did you come here with anyone? My husband accompanied me today. Today, I will review your application form to make sure all the information is correct. We will also do the civics test, followed by the English reading and writing test. Okay. If everything goes well, we will be done in about 20 to 30 minutes. Sounds good. Are you prepared for your history and civics test? Have you studied? Yes, I studied hard for months. That's good. First, we will do the civics test and then the English reading and writing test. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Do you know how to use a tablet? Yes, I do. That's good. Let's start. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? The power to give a driver's license. Correct. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. Great. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He started the first free libraries. Perfect. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Very nice. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Excellent. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Wonderful. You got six correct and you passed the civics test. Thank you. Now I'm going to check your ability to read and write in English. Okay. Please read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. What are the colors of the American flag? Correct. Now you can use the stylus pen to write this sentence down on the tablet. Okay. The American flag is red, white, and blue. The American flag is red, white, and blue. Perfect. You passed the English reading and writing test too. Thank you. Now we will go over your application. Please tell me your current legal name. Alice Petty. Can I have your appointment letter, your green card, your state-issued ID, and your passports? Yes, here they are. Have you used any other names before? 
No. Do you want to legally change your name today? Yes, I want to change my last name to my husband's last name, Adams. You want the name Elise Adams on your certificate of naturalization, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, I have changed it now. Thank you. What is your date of birth? July 16th, 1995. Where were you born? France. What is the best phone number to reach you at? 571-222-3456 When did you get your green card? June 24, 2018 How did you get your green card? My husband is an American citizen and he supported me. Do you and your spouse live together? Yes, I live with my husband and my daughter. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes, here it is. How do you support yourself? My husband supports me since I gave birth in December 2020. Did you have a job before December 2020? Yes, I did. What was your previous job? I was an accounting assistant. Which company did you work for? Blue Sky Office. Where are you currently living? 8764 Hill Street, San Francisco, California, 22999. When did you move to this address? June 2018, after I got married. Where did you live before marriage? 6286 Jersey, San Francisco, California, 22998. What is your date of marriage? June 12th, 2018. What is your husband's name? Jason Adams. What is your husband's birth date? February 19th, 1991. Is your husband a citizen of the U.S.? Yes. When did your husband become a U.S. citizen? He was born in the United States. Have you stayed together after marriage? Yes. How many times have you been married? One time. How many times has your husband been married? Also one time. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. Are your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are French. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have one daughter. Please tell me your kid's name and date of birth. My daughter's name is Teresa Adams. Her date of birth is December 10th, 2020. Is your daughter your biological child? Yes, I am the biological mother of my daughter. Do you have her birth certificate with you? Yes, here it is. Have you taken any trips outside of the U.S. during the last five years? Yes, I took one trip. Please tell me about your trip. I went to France for 15 days. I left the U.S. on March 10, 2019, 
and I came back on March 25th, 2019. What was the purpose of your trip? I visited my parents. Now we move to part 12 of the N-400 form. Okay. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. Why not? Because I'm not a citizen yet. That's right. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is an order of nobility? An order of nobility is a position given by a king or queen. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No. Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization, totalitarian organization, or communist party? No. Do you know what a totalitarian party is? A totalitarian party means the government has complete control over everything and people don't have any power. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by either force or violence? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in prison or jail? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Have you ever stopped someone from practicing his or her religion? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the U.S.? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the U.S.? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. What is the form of government of the U.S.? Republic. Do you understand the meaning of the full oath of allegiance? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Yes. Are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Very nice. You passed all the parts of the interview today. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so Take a look at the application on the tablet and make sure everything is correct. Then sign and date at the bottom. Everything is correct. I signed and dated. Congratulations. You passed the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and good luck. Please subscribe for more.